Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your legs and core Metcon workout. In this workout, we are getting your entire lower body, legs, glutes, hips, inner outer thighs, and all through your core. And we're getting strength as well as cardio for that good metabolic conditioning. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level. We'll be working with dumbbells, kettlebells, and mini bands today if you have them. If you don't, just use what you've got. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting our bodies warm. We're gonna get a quick dynamic warm up. So go ahead and start moving, marching, rolling those shoulders. We're gonna warm up the entire body, mostly through that lower body and core that we're gonna be working today. But our goal is to get the blood flowing, get our hearts pumping, get our body's temperature up, get the energy going, and release any stress or anxiety or anything that might be Consuming your mind right now, just let it go. Just be here with me right now. We are moving together. Let's take our arms out nice and wide as we do a little weight shift into the hips. So lower body and core today, and this is a Metcon workout. So Metcon, metabolic conditioning, metabolic resistance training, high intensity resistance training, they're all very similar. The idea is that as we're getting our strength, we're also getting our cardio, right? So most of our workouts are similar in this Metcon format. Let's take it up right here, big Y, and then a hinge, stretch to the back of the legs. Just take it right through there. So the way we're gonna format this workout is we are going to take it back to basic strength, whether that is lower body or core. And let's take those arms out nice and wide, flat back down, and round it up. So back to basic strength, followed by a, that same exercise, but a Metcon version. So something to get a little bit more of your heart rate, maybe add a little bit more core, whatever it is. Roll it right here, roll those shoulders. So you have 40 seconds of your back to basic strength, and then we will immediately follow that with 30 seconds of your Metcon, all right? Same exercise, we may just add on or switch things up just a little bit, just to get that heart pumping more. Let's squat it down right here, roll through the hips. Now, if that doesn't feel right for you, you can just keep the back to basics. With everything that we do, we're gonna give you lots of options. I'm gonna give you options to take it up or take it down. I will say you, do you, it's your workout. Be where you are today. Let's tap it back right here, little tap. And being where you are today is not just where you are in your fitness journey, it's really where you are today. So you may need to take one option over another, you do what's best for you. Woo, let's hold it right here, feeling my balance. So nice and wide, I want you to feel that good stretch. If you can, take that hand down, reach it up. Let's rotate through. You can drop that knee, you can rotate in the torso, right through here. And one more. Let's take that foot back into that high plank if you can, otherwise just take it up top. Same thing, other side, create that space. Reach it up, rotate it through. So opening up the hips, warming up through the spine. And then if you can drop to those knees, roll through cat-cow. You can keep that up to a standing position if that's better for you, but rolling through our spine. And then let's take it up to that down dog, stretch through the leg, stretch through the back and then forward into that high plank to get a little core warm up. So stretching it out. If that's not right for you, you just take it from knees back to child's pose. Couple more just like this. And breathe it here. And one more. And either walk your hands back or walk your feet in, whatever you need to do. Get a little pedal there and slowly roll up your back. Here we go, team. All right, little tap out and reach. Stretch through your sides. Okay, so you know the drill. 40 seconds of work to back to basics. 30 seconds of Metcon. You'll have a quick little rest in between those where we talk you through what's coming up. And then, of course, we're gonna incorporate different equipment. So I've got my dumbbells and my kettlebells today. If you only have dumbbells, that's okay. If you only have kettlebells, use what's best for you. I'm also gonna incorporate some of the mini loop bands. Again, if you don't have them, not a big deal. The important thing is that you're here, that you showed up today. If you showed up to move, 
you are successful. All right, team, so your very first exercise is just gonna be your side lunge. So I'm gonna start with a heavy kettlebell, but I'm gonna have my medium close by. So alternating side lunge, we're gonna step out to the side, sit into that side lunge, step through. Step out, sit, step through. You can also hand off as you come in the middle and take it here. When we add on, we're gonna take it here, we're gonna hold it here, we're gonna take it to the hip, we're gonna add a halo, all right? That'll add a little more cardio, a little more core. Grab that weight, here we go. So side lunge, step through. Side lunge, step through. If this is better for you, again, to hold that kettlebell in the center, that's okay too. You can also keep this stationary if you don't wanna step into it and you just wanna shift your weight side to side. So up to you. Get low, going heavy on this if you can. Shift your weight into that hip, then push out of it. Take it out. Only 40 seconds. Think about that core engaged. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, so you can keep that. If you wanna keep that back to basics, you can. If you want, grab something a little lighter or medium. We're gonna take that weight to your hip, and then as you come around, you're going above your head in the halo. If that doesn't feel right for you, you can take it with a dumbbell or just keep your regular side lunge. We have 30 seconds this time. Core engaged, active core, stabilization. Three, two, one. To the hip. Take it around. So just by adding a little more movement, one, we're incorporating more core. So it's legs and core, right? but we're also really getting that heart rate up. If that doesn't feel right for you, you got 10 seconds, just regular side lunge. Right here, right? Here, and one, and relax. All right, team, catch your breath. Next, move. We are taking it to a windmill. Now, first round is 40 seconds back to basics. You can go low or high. Toe turned out. I'm gonna take it up right here, but it's up to you. Let's take it windmill right here. So you're gonna do a little hinge. So remember this windmill, you're looking up at the hand or the kettlebell. Either way, totally fine to stay low with it. And then this hand or kettlebell goes right down the front of the leg. Now, this is a lot of core, right? We got a lot of core stabilization. We got a lot of those obliques, but we're also getting some lower body with that hinge. We're getting some core with this little rotation. And then we're, of course, getting shoulder stability. We're gonna stay on this side once we finish this and switch to that low windmill and add a little movement. Three, two, one. Bring it down. So this time I want everybody to be down. And you can either stay back to basics here or to add some movement and a little more core. So we go down with our windmill, we come up strong, we power that knee in. All right, so same side going down, but switch your arms, here we go. Down, 30 seconds, pull it in. Take it low, pull it in. If that feels like too much balance, just keep the low or the high windmill. Yes. Right, 10 seconds to go. We're here, three, two, one, and relax, set it down. All right, team, so same thing, other side. We're gonna get that windmill. So we're turning the toes out, taking it here. Then we're gonna switch, if you have the weight up top, you're gonna take it low, and we're gonna add a little side knee. A little extra cardio, Metcon round, and keeping that core working the entire time. Here we go, take it up and bring it up. Remember this windmill. This toe is turned out just a bit as you hinge. Again, little rotation in towards the center. As you push up, push through this leg. Feel that oblique, right? It's 40 seconds here. You can go high with the weight, go for it, but otherwise a low windmill works just as well. I promise. It's often better depending on where you are 
you can get better form. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team. Now let's add a little bit of movement, a little bit more core. We're taking it down, kettlebell low. Bring it up, side knee. You can take it as slow as you need to. 30 seconds, finish strong. Here we go. And bring it in. Take it down. And in, side knee. Strong, strength, then a little bit of power and cardio with that top oblique. 10 seconds, right here. Yes. Pull it in. Last one. Boom. And relax. All right, team. Woo. Now we're gonna grab our mini band. If you don't have the mini band, again, it is not a big deal. But if you have one, either the cloth or the regular, we're going to put it mid cap. Here's what we got, so take your time. If you wanna keep this standing, little side taps and little jacks. If you wanna take it down for a little bit of core, watch me here, we're gonna be on our elbows first. We're gonna tap it out. So we're gonna get the glutes, we're gonna get the core, we're gonna get those outer thighs. Then we rest for a second and we take it to plank jacks. You can be on your elbows or on your hands, up to you. You can be on your knees or standing, but let's bring it up into that good high plank, low plank position or high, here we go. So holding it here, tap it out and in. Tap it out and in. So I want you to keep the movement. I want you to coordinate that breath. But we're not jacking yet because I want you to really think about stabilizing in the core. A little tuck of the pelvis. Zip up the core, staying lifted. Even though we're tapping it out, I want you to tighten up those legs and glutes to keep everything working. We're gonna get a good core burn with this, but we're also gonna get that heart rate up. We got five seconds from here. Press out wide, even if you don't have the band. I want you really to get those outer thighs working, relax. All right, team, so now if you want, take it to a plank jack. Jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in. Band can be mid-calf or at your knees. Whatever feels better for you, you can be up on the hands or down on the elbows. But let's bring it for 30 seconds. Core engaged, three, two, one. Now I have a tighter band, so it's up to you. You may find putting it above your knees feels a little better, or if you have the lighter band, taking it down below. 15 seconds, making sure as we get tired that we're not shifting back to here, that we're staying forward. And if you need to take it down, just keep moving through that tap. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Yes, team. Go ahead, take that off. Catch your breath. How's that heart rate? It's up there, mine too. All right, team, let's bring it up. So before we finish up this round, let's grab our dumbbells to start. We're gonna think of this as back to basics and our Metcon version of a deadlift. You probably know what it is. Deadlift for 40 seconds. So I'm gonna go dumbbells with that, heavy dumbbells. Then, if you're comfortable with the swing, kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing for 30 seconds. If the swing is not right for you, then I want you just to keep it with the deadlift. So I'm gonna go with my heaviers here. Try to go heavy. Shoulders back, I want you to squeeze those armpits. Arms in front. We're gonna hinge it here. We're gonna stand up straight, connect with the core and the glutes. Here we go. Weights go right down the front of the legs. Up and squeeze. Painting the front of your legs is often what we call that. If you have your kettlebell, you might wanna just go right down in the center. If you're feeling your low back, I want you to get those weights close. You can even take them to the side. This might be a better option for you. Right here. Keep it moving. Take it down. We've got three. We've got two. Connect with those glutes. Last one. All right, team. So you can keep that deadlift with your dumbbells or kettlebells. You can take one dumbbell or kettlebell in the center with our swing. We're getting the power, we're getting more cardio, but we're also getting more core. So hinge it, power it up, lock it out, let it drop. We got 30 seconds. Hinge it here at your starting point. 
Deadlift your swing. Let's prep it. Three, two, one. Power up. Let it drop. Power up. Let it drop. Yes, team. There we go. So really stopping the motion at the top. Like you're standing up nice and tall. Lock it out. Then just let it drop. Let your chest follow as you go. Forearms to the back of your thighs. Drive it up. Drive it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Oh man, I know that felt like a long first circuit. So let's catch our breath. Let's grab some water. Yes, team. Cheers, y'all. Grab that water, grab a sip. I'm getting it done. Did you feel it all? Did you feel that lower body? Did you feel that core? Did you feel that heart rate? I know I did. Let's get it done, circuit two. Here we go, grab your dumbbells. Okay, so starting with those dumbbells. Guys, our first back to basics, you're gonna love it. I want you to go heavy if you can. Here's what we got. Regular lunge. We're gonna hold, isometric hold for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna step it up, isometric squat for 20 seconds, okay? I'm gonna talk you through that. Then when we add on, we're gonna do the lunge, we're gonna clean it, and we're gonna squat it. So I want you to put those dumbbells down and then power here. If that's not right for you, you keep them low the entire time, all right? So isometric, true strength, we're just holding, all right? 20 seconds on the lunge, then we'll step out of it, 20 seconds on the squat. Then on that same side, we'll add some movement and some power. So here we go. Step it back, train tracks, drop it low. All right, so here's your isometric. Things I want you to think about are your hips and your feet, hip distance apart, train tracks. Are you cheating it and wanting to come up a little, right? I want you to drop low. Is your core engaged? Zip up that core, really feel it. Are you pushing through that front heel, but also in that back toe, right? Shoulders back, you did it, take it down right here. So I want you to maybe hold those weights in between, or if you want, drop one, take it here. Again, what's happening with your core? I want you to stay lifted. I want the weight in your heels. We got five seconds, it's gonna be over. Before you know it, drop those hips for four, three, two, and one. Right, not so bad. I know, right? All right, team, so watch me again. You're gonna step back and lunge. Step it up, clean, and squat. If that's not right for you, keep them low the whole time or keep it body weight. It's gonna add some power. It's certainly gonna add some heart rate. It's gonna add some burn. But same leg stepping back. We got 30 seconds, here we go. Lunge, clean, squat, right here. Lunge, clean, squat. So the way we get into this clean is you really gotta power it up. If the clean is not right, you can also just curl if you got the weights to do that. Ooh, burn, I know. Now we feel the isometric. Get through it, hop, last one. Finish it strong, boom, and relax. Set those weights down. All right, team, right? So two different extremes. We got our holds, we got our holds. Then we move through it, we get some power. We get that high heart rate, I know. All right, so I want you to catch your breath. Let's get into that other side, you can do it. Just your hold, 20 seconds. Bend your knees to get those weights. Let's take it in that wide stance. Drop it low in that lunge in three, two, one. We're here. So again, little checklist. Hinge forward slightly, weight in your heels, drop that back knee, zip up that core. I know you're tired, so roll those shoulders back. Pay attention to your breath. So breathe, really expand through your core. You got it in three, two, one. Drop it low. Again, you can take it to just that one. Sometimes this is better because you can rest the elbows. What I don't want you to do, team, is be here, right? So drop that butt, weight in your heels. You can kind of shift side to side for five, four, three, two, burn. That felt like Metcon in itself, but you know it's coming. Step it back, lunge, clean and squat. You can go as slow as you need to, but get the power coming into it. We got 30 seconds, team, and then guess what? We're taking it to the mat. All right, so catch your breath. Let's get it done. Here we go. Lunge it low. 
power it up, clean and squat. Step it back, lunge, power. I know, breathe, Hup. yes, boom. And here, 10 seconds. That's maybe two more. Yes, three, two, one. Relax, set those weights down. Ha. All right, team, down onto your back, all right? I want you to grab your mini band. While you catch your breath, join me down here. You can of course do this standing as well, but while we catch our breath, I want you to get set for that little dead bug. So you can do a little tap or you can extend it out. Then we'll grab our band, we'll take it to a banded bicycle, but join me here. So down on the mat to start, little tuck of the pelvis, not pushing in, but bringing the hips and the ribs together, zip up that core, feet up. Here we go. You can start with just little taps, opposite toe, as the opposite arm goes over. You've got active core breathing, but I really want you to think about that deep exhale as everything comes in. To here. Yes. Right through here. Just about 15 seconds. So really focus on that deep core now that that heart rate is coming down, right? We've got five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. All right, team, if you have a band, I want you to take it. Feet, and we're doing that banded bicycle, so we're twisting, we're twisting. It's gonna add some power, it'll add a little Metcon, but just to give you a little ab burn, bring it up. If you'd rather, you can just do a little knee march from here, you're still gonna get that core. Here we go, 30 seconds. Take it out. Now, as I always remind you, if you've done a banded bicycle with me before, I want you to think just as much about pushing out as you are pulling in, because that's that deep core. Right through here. Rotating through the upper torso, but pulling in through the lower part of your core, while we're also pushing out gently with those feet so we get those outer thighs. Yes, three, two, one, relax. All right, team, if you have that band, I want you to go ahead and bring it above your knees. Woo, bring it up, ha. And join me here. All right, team, so we're starting with our little monster step out. So we're gonna step out on a diagonal here, diagonal, and then I want you to take it front. It's kind of a monster X, we'll call it, right? So we're going out, out, front, front, making an X. Step out wide for those hips. Then when we get some Metcon, we'll do a little shuffle with it, all right? But let's start, get low in that squat, open on that diagonal, three, two, one. If you don't have a band, it's okay, right? Take it here. You can just keep a body weight, or if you're feeling fancy, you can add a weight. Just think of it as a X squat or traveling squat. Right here, here, yes. Take it out, take it out, and here, boom, take it out. 10 seconds, getting low, but getting that good mobility as well. Three, two, one. All right, team, you're gonna keep it here, and you can either just do a double step, you can be high, you can get low, or we're gonna take it to a little shuffle, all right? Make sure that band is nice and secure. We got 30 seconds, shuffling right, shuffling left, or double step, low or high, your choice. Here we go. And you can do a big shuffle like this, or quick feet, as long as you're pushing out with those knees. And again, if your legs are tired, you can keep it a little higher. If you wanna get low in that athletic stance, which you know I love, Let's keep it here. Step, step, we're shuffle, step. Five seconds, good, burn. Three, two, one, relax, take it out, whoo. Still feel my core after that bicycle. All right, team, to finish out the circuit, how about we get another swing? 
Catch your breath after that. No need for our deadlift, unless you want to keep it at the deadlift. Otherwise, let's take it in that swing. Drive it back, power it up. Now, of course, we're locking out glutes and hamstrings, but I want you to think about locking up that core, lifting up on that pelvic floor. I'm gonna go with my 35. Let's go a little heavier if you can. You do you. It's your workout. 30 seconds. Weight in the center. One dumbbell, two dumbbells, deadlift or swing, kettlebell, whatever you got. Wrap that core. Let's get it strong. Roll the shoulders back. In three, two, prep it, power it up. Lock it out, lock it out, let it drop. What is your core doing? Yes, we're getting power through the back of the body, but that core is supporting and then locking out, really getting that deep connection, that deep contraction as we come up. Chest drop, power up, but eyes up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Ha. Pedal team. All right, team. I know. We're getting there. Let's grab a quick sip. Slide that all to the side. Ha. Woo. All right. One more power through for the lower body. And then one more for the core. All right. So join me here. You can do dumbbells or kettlebells with this. I'm probably gonna go two dumbbells, but we're gonna cross over in a curtsy lunge, and then I'm gonna take it in a transverse lunge. So all that is, is instead of your regular lunge, we're going curtsy, and instead of your side lunge, we're going transverse, all right? So we're gonna start with that, back to basics. What we're gonna do on our strength is add a little pulse. Pulse for two, step it in, pulse for two. When we add our Metcon and our more core, we're gonna rack them. Down, no pulse to here, all right? So it's gonna get that heart rate up, it's gonna get those legs working, but we are almost there, all right? So let's go with those heavy weights. I got my right foot forward, I'm moving, traveling with my left, you do you. We're gonna get it 40 seconds, little breather, and then we'll rack them. This one's got the pulse, so shoulders back, core engaged, 40 seconds, here we go. Curtsy pulse. Step through, transverse, pulse into the hip. So I want you to pulse into this hip. Step through, pulse into this hip. So really working on shifting your weight, right? One side to the other, then the, the diagonal. So this is really good mobility as well because our hips are having to move and open up in different directions, right? Take it down, pulse up, 10 seconds. Hang with me. It's the last circuit of this workout. Here we go. And breathe. All right, team, if you need to set them down, set them down. We're gonna pick them back up. Here's what we got. You're racking them here. So curtsy, side lunge. It's only 30 seconds, so I want you to shift the weight, hip to hip, get that heart rate up, get that core working. And one way we're gonna do it is to rack them here. Let's do it. Curtsy and side lunge. I know, if that doesn't feel good for your back, keep them low, but if you can, take it here to here. Breathe, shift. I know, it's hard because you're working hard. I'm always gonna remind you of that 10 seconds. Here we go, boom. Three, two, one. Relax. Guess what, team? We're gonna get it right here. Before we get that other side, we're gonna do a standing climber here to here or here, and then a mountain climber. I know, because that heart rate is up. Let's get some core in between. So standing climber, weight here, weight here, or up top. We're just bringing the knees to your chest for 40 seconds. Everybody start here. It's gonna feel simple at first. But what I want you to think about, what can you do with those weights? Can you go out? That's hard. Can you go up? Standing march. Now balance, right? Feel that core. Right here. Boom. After this, we got 30 seconds of a climber where we're running it down below. Hang with me. So close. Breathe. Yes, team. You need to be here. That's okay, too. 
but get that core working. I know, super simple, but also hard. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, set that weight down. You can stay here and pick up your intensity here for 30 seconds, or join me in this mountain climber here. Here we go, we're gonna run them in. Let's get it done. 30 seconds standing, 30 seconds mat. Three, two, one. And you can run them into your chest, or if you feel like getting a little cross in there, you can, but make sure those shoulders and elbows are right above your wrists. We're not sliding back as we get tired. Jog them in, run them in, 15 seconds. You're wishing we were doing a curtsy into a transverse, right? I wanted to give your legs a little break, but not your body a break. For five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. Met con metabolic conditioning. Are you feeling it? I know I am. All right, team. Here we go. Same thing, other side. So watch me first while you catch your breath. We got lunge pulse. We got transverse pulse. Remember, it's a little bit weird at that diagonal. Working those hips, working that mobility. If you need to, you can go regular lunge to regular side lunge, all right? Then we take the pulse out. We rack them if we can. We move, we get the heart rate up. We get more core working. 40 seconds, quick breather, 30 seconds. Let's get it done. Here we go. Right here, team. Crossing it over into that curtsy. Get low, push from one hip to the other with a pulse in three, two, one. Pulse for two, step it in. Pulse for two. Pulse, two, yes. Boom. Take it here. And breathe. Pulse. Get low, out of that hip, cross on the diagonal, shift back to it, right? So lots of mobility but lots of back to basic strength here, team. Take it down. Yes. Boom. Relax. All right, shake them out. Give your hands a break. Here's what we got, we're here. Cross to here. Last push for legs. Let's get it done, team. Let's finish it out. Almost done with this workout. Let's wrap them. 30 seconds only. In three, two, one, curtsy into side lunge. Whole Metcon. Again, if that's not right for you, take them back to regular. You're still gonna get that heart rate up, right? You're still gonna get the legs working. You're still getting your core working right here, right now. Yes. Breathe. Five seconds. Can we get one more of each? Yes, you can. Boom. Relax. Set them down, team. Ah. All right, you know what? That was the end of that circuit. We're not even gonna call it a bonus move, but how about one more swing? 30 seconds. The swing is full body, back to basic strength. Lots of power, and core is working too. So let's finish it out. That's all we need, a 30 second swing. That is it, team. Wrap that core. You can do your deadlift. You can do your swing, but hang with me for only 30 seconds more. Let's finish this Metcon strong. Breathe, shoulders back, hinge it, prep it, get set, shoulders back. I know you're tired, so really get into that form. Prep it, three, two, one. Power, let it drop, power. Zip up that core, nice strong core through these entire movements. Lots of lower body, but lots of core. Arms are along for the ride. Woo! Right here, power, let it drop. Keep it going. As you get tired, really zone in on that core. Zone in on that hinge. Five, four, three, two, one, swing and relax. Yes, team. Pedal your feet right here. I know, I feel it too. Breathe, ha. Are you with me? I know, woo, tap it out. Man, for a core workout, we didn't spend much time on the mat, did we? We got a lot of lower, a lot of core, a lot of things working together. Get your weights out of the way. Give yourself a second. 
just to shake it out, let that heart rate come down. We're gonna keep this cool down short because I wanna get you in and out. So please make sure that you get some more stretching, some more mobility, some more flexibility on your own. Let's take it out nice and wide right here. Roll those shoulders so you can stretch through your back, but also inside of the legs. You can check out any of my other mobility workouts or flexibility, stretching, deep stretch. Try to get more throughout your day and the week. Let's get a little hamstring stretch here, also through your back. Yes, team, let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Did you feel that metabolic conditioning? I know I did. Did you feel that strength, little burn? Lots of legs and booty and core. I hope you did, I did. So let me know in the comments, I love hearing from you. Leave me a like, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and check us out in the Body Fit by Amy app. So much happening over in the Body Fit Athletic Club. Check all of that out. And if you're looking for private coaching with me, check out Body Fit Elite. Woo. Let's take those arms up right here. Stretch over to the side. Thank you so much for joining me today, for being here, for working hard, for showing up and giving it your all. Come back for more. There might be an upper and core Metcon heading your way. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your lower and core Metcon workout. Great job, everybody.